Has anyone seen a toad? A boy named Neville's lost one. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? But they've all worked for me. Example. Oculus, repair room. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. It's not real, the sea. It's just bewitched to look like the night sky. I read about it in Hogwarts. A history. I've read about those. When the smoke turns red, it means you've forgotten something. The only problem is, I can't remember what I've forgotten. Harry, no way. I heard what Mammy Hoop said. Besides, you don't even know how to fly. What an idiot. You don't use your eyes, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? It was standing on a trap door, which means it wasn't there by accident. It's guarding something. That's right. Now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expect. Spelled. Good. No, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? Stupid. I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. Of course, here it is. Fear of a name only increases fear of the thing itself. There's no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah, along with the dung beetle. No one was screaming, Harry. Oh, honestly, Ron. If you ask me, divination's a very woolly discipline. Ancient runes. That's a fascinating subject. It's, it's just a scratch. Hagrid! Oh, he has to be taken to the hospital. Nobody likes a sucker! Dufftown? It's not far from here. But, sir, we've just begun learning about red caps and hinky punks. We're not meant to start nocturnal beasts for weeks. Please, sir, an animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. With each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. Kill his best friend if he crosses. Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. If you want to kill Harry, you'll have to kill us too. He's a werewolf! Why, he's been missing classes. Ooh. And now we wait. This came with it. It's hurting again, isn't it? Your scar. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. Think. It's not going to work. You see this? This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. <laughs> a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dodge as pathetically dim-witted as an aging potion. The key's to concentrate. After that, you just have to... Battle and dragon. <laughs> what are you doing here, Miss Granger? Oh, um, sorry, I'll just go. They're not for Ginny, they're for you. Dress robes. It might interest you to know that Neville's already got someone. I just mean he's not particularly loquacious. The Black Lake, that's obvious. Again, obvious, though admittedly potentially problematic. Potentially problematic? When's the last time you held your breath underwater for an hour, Hermione? We can do this, the three of us can figure it out. But sir, the second task is only hours away and- Exactly. Harry! Hermione! Ow! Are you alright? You must be freezing. Personally, I think you behaved admirably. I finished last, Hermione. Ah! Next to last. Flan have got fast as he grinned he loves. <laughs> Everyone that says Luna, love, Luna loves good. There's nothing in here about using defensive spells. You've got to tell Dumbledore. No. Foul, evil old gargoyle. We're not learning how to defend ourselves. Not learning how to pass our owls. She's taking over the entire school. There'll be no need to talk. You need to think some more like it. I'm sure Harry's kissing was more than satisfactory. Cho spends half her time crying these days. I don't you understand how she must be feeling? Obviously, she's feeling sad about Cedric, and therefore confused about liking Harry and guilty about kissing him, conflicted because Umbridge is threatening to sack her mum from her job at the ministry, and frightened of failing her OWLs because she's so busy worrying about everything else. One person can feel all that. It explodes. Because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Harry, time to go. Dumbledore warned Fudge this could happen. He's gonna get us all killed because he can't face the truth. Tell her, Harry! Tell me what? Well, if you won't tell her where it is, I will. Where what is? There's been a lot of talk recently that Dumbledore's got a bit old. Don't worry. I'll be here in a minute. <laughs> will you stop eating? Your best friend is missing. Turn around, you lunatic. Who has... Liquid luck. Yes, Miss Granger. I'd like to know who that book was. Have a look, shall we? No. The binding is fragile. Well, I was curious. 
So I went to the, the library. library. And? My parents are dentists. They, they attend to people's teeth. No. Although, one boy, Robbie Fenwick, did bite my father once. He needed ten stitches. Look at her eyes. They've been fighting again, her and Dean. A dinner party? Pretty boring, actually. Though I think Harry enjoyed dessert. Actually, I was going to ask you. Really? You shouldn't have done it. I know. I suppose I could have just used the confunders, John. That was different. That was a tryout. This was an actual game. You didn't put it in. Well, only thought you did. He's a perfect liberty to kiss whomever he likes. I really couldn't care less. Really? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. Um, kidding. I've always admired your courage, Harry. But sometimes you can be really thick. I don't really think you're going to be able to find all those Horcruxes by yourself, do you? You need us, Harry. No. Absolutely not. I told you you'd take it well. But Harry, your eyesight really is awful. It belongs to Harry. It came to him when he most needed it in the Chamber of Secrets. Free Avenue. I used to come to the theatre here with Mum and Dad. I don't know why I thought of it, it just popped into my head. You didn't celebrate your birthday, Harry. Jenny and I, we prepared a cake. We were going to bring it out at the end of the wedding. Hermione, honestly, I appreciate the thought, but really given the fact that we were almost killed by a couple of Death Eaters a few minutes ago... Probably Madhouse's idea. In case Snape decided to come snooping. Oh, men in Revelio. We're alone. Yes, but did you ever see it? Was it in this house? I don't Weasley. Answer her. When Scrimger first gave it to you, I thought it might open at your touch. The Dumbledore had hidden something inside it. Oh, my God. What? I'll tell you in a minute. Maybe you could tell me now. You are brilliant, Hermione. Truly. Actually, I'm highly logical, which allows me to look past extraneous detail and perceive clearly that which others overlook. Yeah, there's only one problem, of course. Please take. Please take the whole crux. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been wearing it all day. Stop! Stop! I saw you two the other night. Well, there's, there's nothing. Come on. Mom, where are you going? I found something as well. That's exactly where he'll expect you to go because it means something to you. We need to talk. Yeah, all right. <laughs> She's coming back. What should we do with it? We? Bag? Yeah. Jumper? Yeah. Let me see.